Hi guys and girls, in this video you will learn how to use the React Router version 4 uh, in React for web. We are just going to create a simple application with a home router, an about router, and also a route to a page with subpages, which we're going to continue to route to the subpage. We're going to create a simple, two simple subpages, and we're also going to take a look at the uh, passing URL parameters in the React Router. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new project with a create React app command. We can name this project Router App. And also in this tutorial, we're not going to focus anything on uh, CSS or styling. We're just going to keep it strictly to the routing. This might take a couple of seconds, so you can fast forward right here if you want to. That's it. Let's see the into the project, see the router app. And what we want to do now is we want to install the React Router DOM, which we're going to use to create the routes. So npm install. React Router DOM. I'm gonna use save flag to save it to my package.json file. Also, I'm gonna open up the project in uh, Sublime. You can use whatever text editor you prefer. <coughs> I'm gonna open up the uh, app.js and change the syntax to Babel. There we go, we just installed React Router DOM. Now we're just gonna fire the application up with npm start. And I'm gonna close Edge because I'm gonna use it, open it in uh, Chrome. And there we go, the default application has started. I'm just going to change the indention here to tab with 4 before we start. Like that. You can go ahead and delete everything within the return. Like that. Also, you can delete the logo and the app.css. We will not use any of them. First thing we want to do is we want to import the router, uh, the browser router, and the route and the link from the React Router DOM package. So, oops, import uh, browser router, and we can define it to use it as router instead of shorter. And uh, we're gonna import the route, and we're gonna import the link from, oops, React Router DOM. So we can start by uh, including a new router in the application, in the app.js. And let's wrap everything inside a div. <coughs> so as you can see, we're using the actual browser router as router, which is the router we just find here. <coughs> First we're going to do now is we're going to use the, use the link to create links to routes. And after we have created the links to the routes, we're going to create the actual routes to take care of what's going to happen when, when a link is linked to a route. So let's start with just, we're just going to create a simple unordered list. So create a UL element and uh, inside it create an LA, LI element. And you know now if we just, if this is normal HTML, you, you know you would do an href uh, like this. Home and you would link it to probably home or something like that and it will look like this and when you click you will get to home but we're not gonna do that now since we use a react we're gonna use the react link to create the link so create a new link and create a two parameter and the two, two parameter uh, two attributes sorry 
uh, it's gonna specify where the link is gonna link to and this is gonna be the home and we want the home to link to uh, just an empty URL so nothing which is the base URL there you go and now we we'll check now we get the home link and if I press home now you see nothing's happening because we told it to link to this URL, the home URL, which is correct. Now let's create two more links. We're going to create one to about. And also let's create one to um, a page with sub pages. We can just name it page with sub pages for simplicity. Let's name the link page with sub pages. And if you look now, you can see we got the home link, we got the about link. When I click the about link, you can see the URL is updated with the about. And we got this page with sub pages, same thing there, it gets updated with this page with sub pages. So everything seems to be working all right. Now, what we want to do, we want to create routes that can actually link these URLs to components. So let's start with just creating, we're gonna create a route for the home link. And we're gonna define an exact path, which is gonna be equal to the path we have set in home, which is blank. And we're gonna define a component attribute, which we're gonna set to home. And now what this means is when the exact path of the URL is blank we're gonna load the component we specified in the component attribute which is home and don't worry we're gonna create the home uh, component soon we can copy this one and create two more routes now in the these two last ones we don't want to use the exact attribute we just want the path and for the about page it's gonna be the exactly the same as for the about link. So the path is slash about, and when the when the URL is slash about, the component is gonna be about. I'm gonna create the about component soon as well. And when the route path is page with sub pages, what component we wanna load then? We will wanna load the page with the Subpages component, which we're gonna create soon too. <coughs> so now we got the actual links that links to to uh, our routes. The only thing we haven't done now, which we haven't declared the actual uh, the actual components which the routes are trying to call. So if we open up the browser now, we will get a warning which says uh, that uh, home about and page with sub pages is undefined which is correct you can see it right there <clears throat> so we can't quite do anything quite yet so let's start off by us creating the home component and now for this tutorial i will not create a completely new file you know and create a new class instead we are just going to use constants as the component so we will look like this but it's exactly the same as uh, as if we would create new components. Instead, I'm gonna do like this. I just wrap the home component in a div. <clears throat> Let, let's just say h2 and let's say home page. <clears throat> so now this is gonna link to component home, which is just a constant. But it really it doesn't matter. I mean, you could, if you want to, you can create a new file, uh, a new class, and name it to home. Uh, this is exactly the same as you know import home from home or whatever uh, it's no difference so we just to make it easier to follow we're gonna create every component in a constant so that's the home page and we can actually if we delete this now just to get uh, rid of the undefined messages we can see what happens you can see the URL is uh, is blank after the root uh, URL, so the home page is uh, loaded, which is correct. But about we have no component, so it's gonna be blank. Same with page with sub pages. 
So let's go ahead and create the, <coughs> the about component. Uh, just name it about. Wrap it in a div as well. And right here we can say um, h2 about page. There we go. And delete this last one, just temporary to get rid of the warning. I'm gonna use it soon. And now as you can see, we can navigate between our home page and our about page. And the URL is updated as it should be. You can see if I reload the entire browser, still the about page or the about component will load correctly because it's set in the URL and the URL slash about is uh, told to always load the about component. And you can use the back and forward buttons as well. It works. <clears throat> so that's it. We got uh, two components ready. Now we're just going to create the page with the subpages component. This one right here. And this is going to be a little bit more code than these two because it's going to actually create, uh, contain uh, its own uh, links and routes inside it because it's going to contain, uh, as we said, subpages. Sub -pages. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and create the page with subpages uh, component. And this component, we're actually going to pass uh, an object as uh, argument. We're going to pass the match, which will we will use to get information about the URL and the parameters, which we're going to look later in passing. So let's pass match as an argument. Um, <clears throat> let's just wrap it in a simple deal. And we can say h2, we can call it page with subpages. <clears throat> Subpages. Now let's. We're gonna need a, uh, another list, uh, a menu in the page with subpages too. So let's go ahead and create a new menu. We are gonna use the UL here too to be able to navigate to the subpages in the in this component. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually create new links inside this. Uh, uh, component exactly as we did here, but this time we wanted to uh, route to a um, sub page of these components. So create a new link. <coughs> um, we can name it uh, sub page one. And now, what we're going to use here, we're going to actually use. Uh, Backticks, as you see right here, uh, this is called string uh, literals or template literals. It was introduced in ES6 and they allow uh, embedded expressions inside, which make it a little bit, the code a little bit uh, smoother. <coughs> so, what we want to do now is we're gonna, in the link to uh, attribute, we're gonna actually uh, get the match which we passed up here we're gonna pass the match and what we're gonna, gonna get is the url followed by the sub page we want to link to which in this case is uh, sub page one and that's it we got a link to sub page one we're gonna create the route for sub page one in just a couple of seconds and also here we want to create a link to subpage 2. So let's just copy it and say subpage 2 instead. And that's it. We got the links to subpage 1 and subpage 2 inside the component page with subpages. Now what we want to do, we're going to declare a path as well. Um, let's see. We need a path to the subpage 1 to begin with. And same thing here, we're gonna use uh, template literals, the backticks, and we're gonna pass as well the match that URL followed by sub page one. Exactly the same as up here. And when this this uh, criteria is met, met the path is sub page one. Well, we wanna load a component and 
the component we want to load is then going to be sub page one, which we will create soon. And as well, it's exactly the same for sub page two. So we're going to match the URL. We're going to tell it to when the URL is sub page two. Well, let's route it to sub page two. And that's it. We got the sub page one and sub page two ready. So just uh, create a new constant, uh, a compo comp comp uh, component. Uh, we can call it uh, sub page one, as we defined up here that it's going to call. So it's going to call this component. Let's just do it like this. And we can wrap it in a div. And let's say. Um, sub page 1. Same thing for sub page 2. We can just copy this. Let's say this is called sub page 2. So this route is going to match to this component. Let's just set sub page 2 like that. Now we can open up the browser and we can check. We're at the home page, correct? What happens if we press about? We get to the about page. And if we press page with subpages, we get to the page with subpages. And this is the menu we just created in the subpages page. And if we click here, as you can see, we will uh, get to subpage one. If we click here, we will get to subpage two. So everything seems to be working correct. And as you can see now, we have actually created routes inside. Uh, a component which is already routed. So that's perfectly fine to do uh, and it works great. And you can see that the URL is also updated correctly. Now next thing we want to do, let's try to, let's take the stop page 2 right here. Let's say you want to pass an, uh, a URL parameter to stop page 2. So yes, you can just define a parameter. Let's say 2. Let's try something out. So we're actually passing a parameter now from uh, the second one, but we're not doing anything with it in the route. So what we want to do is uh, let's define the name of the parameter, which is done like this. We can call it ID. It doesn't matter what you call it, but we can call it ID this time. So now actually the uh, this uh, your parameter number two is called ID and it will get uh, passed to the sub page two component. So now to access this, same thing here, we're going to use match as we did up here. Uh, and in the match uh, object, we can actually get the parameters from the URL. And that way we can get to the ID parameters. So let's just say that is sub page 2 <coughs> passed with URL parameter. Parameter uh, number. And then we're gonna get the match dot params params dot id, which is the name of the parameter. So let's check it out. This should return number two now. If you press yes, sub page two pass with URL parameter number two. And you can see it's passed right here. This is great if you wanna like I don't know redirect to users or whatever or lists or whatever, dynamic values, and then you can pass uh, URL parameters as you wish. <coughs> you can change this to whatever, it doesn't matter. And you can change the name of this to my param. And let's uh, display that instead, my param. You will see now it will display 500 instead. So yeah, that's basically it. Our router is working. Everything seems to be working okay. So yeah, that's basically it. How to use the React Router version 4. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.